Gordon Brown has warned that under Boris Johnson, the Union of England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland is sleepwalking into oblivion. But what will a no deal really mean for the United Kingdom? Again, back to only weeks to go and we're where we were three years ago. And with a no deal, Northern Ireland will be back to where it was in the late 70s. Scotland would be off within, what, 12 months? The British people are watching their country slowly disintegrate in front of their very eyes. The Conservative and Unionist Party is about to embrace a no-deal Brexit that would almost certainly facilitate the breakup of the Union. Oh, the irony. I don't think anyone voted for this. I don't think so. I mean, I, I don't know, maybe some did. It's not for me to presume the motives behind someone else's voting record. But I don't believe that the people voted for some last-minute no-deal clusterfuck. Some leavers did, and some didn't. Some did, some didn't. And, and that's the problem right there, right? Think about it, Tim. The question. It was all wrong. It was such a terrible question. It, the, the question, Tim, the, the question. Should the United Kingdom remain a member of the European Union or leave? the European Union. I mean, it seems like a perfectly reasonable question. I mean, it's simple. It's simple. Do you want this or do you want this? You know, simple question. Do you, do you want to stay or go? Simple, right? Do you, want to, do you want to stay? A tangible concept by virtue of the fact it means things stay pretty much as they are. Not necessarily a good thing. Or do you want to go? Now, if you want to go, fine. But what do you want? Okay. Yes, to lead the European Union, Tim, but what do you want? What do you want instead? Because the question, it didn't cover that, did it? You ask a thousand Leave voters, you might get a thousand different answers, OK? What's the best way for us to leave the European Union? Well, well, nuke mainland Europe, obviously, is one possible answer. Well, I think we should have a Canada Plus sort of arrangement. Okay, well, I think we should crash out at the last minute to demonstrate how no one, especially those who promised that a have your cake and eat it Brexit would be a walk in the fucking park, has the first fucking clue how to extricate ourselves from the EU safely with the least disruption to its businesses and citizens is another possible answer. Yeah? Um, I'm not saying people didn't know what they were voting for, Tim. I'm saying people were voting for different things, OK? Take back control, fine, OK? But of what? Your borders, your sovereignty, your pelvic floor muscles, what? OK? The Leave website promised frictionless trade without freedom of movement. It'll be like having single market membership without paying the subscription fee and without free movement and with a huge Brexit dividend for the NHS. It's an impossible coalition of ideas. And so it was an impossible coalition of voters, right? You have the hard right of the political spectrum, anti-regulation, anti-workers' rights, anti-civil liberties, anti-immigration, anti poor people, that sort of thing, with the old school left side of the p political spectrum who, who took back control and expressed their anger at a ruling class, and a political elite, and let's face it, a centrist capitalist economic bloc that stopped representing their best interests a long fucking time ago. Unfortunately for the lefties, they ended up with Boris at the helm of Brexit, the poster boy of the ruling classes and the political elite, whose Brexit strategy is to blame a no deal on the EU, whilst attempting to make crashing out seem like a jolly old adventure down shit creek without a paddle or a clue but with lashings of blind optimism and custard. Should the United Kingdom remain a member of the European Union or leave the European Union? Someone really should have pointed out that it ain't that fucking simple, mate. Yeah? Well, with just over 10 weeks to go until Brexit, preparations for a no-deal Brexit are well underway.